starting the chapter quadrilateral and under it we'll be starting the midpoint theorem so let's begin the midpoint theorem states that the line segment joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side so we will prove it here mathematically let's bring in our triangle into the picture now as we already know e and f are the midpoints of ab and ac respectively next we will be drawing CD parallel to BA and extend EF till D as you can see in the figure. Alright? Also, if you see, AB is parallel to CD according to the construction we have done. And that's why we can say FAE is equal to angle FCD. That means this angle is equal to this angles because they form alternate angles for the parallel side AB and CD. Right? Next, AF is equal to FC because as we already know, F is the midpoint of AC. And the last, angle AFE will be equal to angle CFD. That means this angle will be equal to this angle because they form vertically opposite angles. So if you notice and if you know the properties of triangle, you can easily say that triangle AEF will be congruent to triangle CDF according to the ASC or the angle side angle rule. Now, if the triangles are congruent, their corresponding sides will be equal to, right? So, we can say that EF will be equal to DF and EE will be equal to CD as they are the congruent sides in both the triangles. If you notice, EE is equal to BE, right? Because E is the midpoint of AB. And also we know that EE is equal to CD because they are corresponding sides of the two triangles. So can't we say that BE is equal to CD too? Right? So that's one conclusion we have. This is what we got in the last slide that triangle EEF is, is congruent to triangle CDF. And according to the corresponding side property, we have concluded how EF is equal to DF and how BE is equal to CD. Right. Next, BE is parallel to CD according to the construction as we did initially. Also, BE is equal to CD as we have already proved here. Right. Now, if you remember one property that we have proved in the previous lecture, that if a pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel to each other, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. We have done this property and according to the same property, we can say that BCDE forms a parallelogram. But if BCDE forms a parallelogram, BE will be parallel to CD and ED will be parallel to BC, right? If ED is parallel to BC, can't we say that EF is parallel to BC, right? That was the task of the theorem or the property and we have proved it here. Also, I told you I will be proving how EF is equal to half the length of BC. So, if you see ED is equal to BC because obviously opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal to each other. Also, ED is equal to EF plus DF, right? If you follow the question, the line ED is equal to EF plus DF. We can say that it is equal to 2 into EF because EF is equal to DF as we have seen here, right? If ED is equal to 2 EF, can't we say that EF is half ED? That's what we have written here. EF is equal to half of ED. But if you see ED is equal to BC. So EF will be equal to BC by 2 or EF is half the length of BC. So that was it for the proof of midpoint theorem. We will continue and prove how the converse of midpoint theorem is true also in the next lecture. Thank you very much.